Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Take On Tottenham. My name is Ben and this is my Take On Tottenham. And we are back for the 21-22 Premier League season. Match reactions every single week, every single game. We are back doing it again for another season. And what a way to start. Tottenham won, Man City nil. What a what a performance as well. I have got a lot of good things to say about this. And I, I've got a bit of an epilogue right towards the end about what I've just watched. But what a performance that was. What a start to the season. Nuno, no Harry Kane. And what a performance. You know, Man City coming in with Jack Grealish as well. Starting the whole, you know, playing the whole game. Just brilliant. Let's just get into it. You know how we work. If you if you're new, we go with uh, first half, second half, then we just sort of review the game. But I take notes. It's my trusty notepad. Um, this is how we do it on this channel. Um, so first things first. Yeah, first half. Nervy start. First 15 minutes. Very nervy. A um, little bit worried. I ain't gonna lie. Was a little bit worried. Man City were looking very slick, very good, passing around very nicely. Um, but Spurs held on. Especially that first sort of 15, 20 minutes, they really did a good job at holding on. Started just sort of coming out, then a bit after that, just sort of started pushing a little bit more out. And then a few counter attacks started happening, um, and then really started to get more confidence. And literally, I'd say from then on, kind of controlled the game. Um, Sonny was very nervy, playing up front in Harry Kane's position. Uh, not n nothing that's not new to him. He's done that before, um, a lot of the time when um, Harry Kane was injured. Um, but just getting chances, getting through balls and then coming back, taking a step back and then passing backwards, just something that he doesn't do. We know Sonny, this, we know how he operates. We know that he usually would just slot that in the bottom corner first time or do a bit of tricks and then hit it in. You know, he's not short of confidence, but it really looked like that at that time. Um, but again, got better. Um, Lucas and Jaffa Tanganga, I will go on about these for the rest of the week, I think, but were fantastic. Not just for the first half, but for the whole game. But the first half in particular, I thought they were excellent. Jaffa Tanganga was absolutely had like handling like Raheem Sterling. Did not let him get away with anything. It was a brilliant duel to watch for a neutral, but obviously the Spurs fan, Jaffa Tanganga handled himself perfectly, um, handled Sterling perfectly and just Kept it absolutely solid. Um, and Lucas Moura as well. Absolutely brilliant. Phenomenal from Lucas Moura. Causing so many issues. I just got so many good things to say about this team and this performance. This was brilliant. Second half. You're wondering, oh, are we going to sit back? If it was, I don't want to be that guy. But last season, we'd sit on that and probably would have lost the lead. Um, Spurs came out and carried on. They carried on at Man City. They just kept going. You know, granted, it wasn't like they peppered Man City goal, but they they didn't sit back. They didn't invite the pressure. They held their own. They were defensively solid. They counted everything that Man, U, uh, Man City had to throw at them, and they and they caused problems at the back. I, I do think, in particular, Man City really struggled um, on their left side with Mendy. I thought he had a torrid game, um, and it was just brilliant and. Eventually, we got a goal. It was a bit of a mix-up, I guess, defensively for Man City. Diaz looked like he was going to clear it and just sort of didn't. Um, and then, and then there was, um, I think Edison was probably relying on that to happen. Um, and brilliant goals. Don't take anything away from Sonny. Brilliant through ball. Got the ball. Came on the inside and just slotted it in the far left corner. And it was a really, really good finish. Say what you want about the defending, but the finish was brilliant. Um, and I just thought if Steven Bergvine, not long after that, great chance to make it 2 0. Again, just needs that goal. We're praying for him to get that goal. And just, it just hit the side net and it was absolutely good to see because I really thought I would have done a world of good. I, I was also worried because I thought we'd absolutely pay for, for that missed chance. Um, but Spurs absolutely held their own. That's all the, all I've wrote to be honest. Spurs absolutely held their own for that match. And I am, and I've not been able to say this for a long time, for a long time. And if you're a Spurs fan, you will absolutely understand this. I am proud of that team and that performance. That was, 
oh god sorry i'm just really proud of it because a, a lot of feeling that i got from that game be it for the fact that maybe there was fans and it just contributed to the just the general aura of positivity coming from from that performance but i generally felt that was a game of a group a group of players that were playing for each other not playing for individuals not playing for you know a lot of what we saw last season love individual performances and not ever saying that the group performed brilliantly every single one of those performed admirably today from front to back and do you know what i'll prove it by saying even davidson sanchez and eric dyer were brilliant today and i ain't gonna lie i'm not trying to sort of do them a disservice here but they didn't have really that like they they did their jobs but it's not like they were absolutely under siege um and but they did their jobs and that's all we need them to do that's what they needed them to do christian romero came on albeit brief but you know he was there to solidify that back line and, and make it a three uh giovanni la salsa came on and contributed and these players coming on and matt doherty as well i was kind of worried when matt doherty came on for jaffa tanganga really worried because i thought tanganga was like man of the match pretty much but even matt doherty did a job he's i think Greenish was trying to get running and he's and he put in a brilliant tackle towards the end Every single one of them, Lloris, Regulon, Dyer, um, Sanchez, Tanganga, Lucas Moura, Stephen Bervine, Deli Ali, Hoybier, Sonny, Giovanni Lo Salso, Matt Doherty and Christian, Christian Romero. Absolutely brilliant. Every single one of them. Fantastic. And speaking of individuals, we obviously then have to talk about Man of the match performance from Jaffa Tanganga was phenomenal today. But I, if I've got to be honest, I would split. I would split the man of the match award down the middle because I want to award half of it to Lucas Mora, who I thought was such a pain in the ass today for Man City. He would not stop running. He would not stop causing issues. He was going in, in and out, in and out, slaloming in between defenders, causing havoc. And that's what we need more from Lucas Moura. It's probably a massive critique is that there's not, we've not seen as much as that, as much of that over the years. But don't take anything away from this morning, uh, this morning, uh, <laughs> this afternoon. Um, brilliant from Lucas Moura. Absolutely. I, 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 because of Jaffa Tanganga's performance, it will get applauded and rightfully so. But please do not let that, um, almost shadow how well uh, Lucas Moura performed as well today. I thought he was excellent. And just as, you know, man of the match, joint man of the match with Jaffet Tanganga. Those two in particular are fantastic. Deli Ali as well, I thought really, you know, ran his socks off today. Not, again, not his greatest game ever in his career ever, but I still think he put in a good shift. He caused problems. He was doing some really good through balls. Um, fantastic. Steven Bergvine as well, didn't get the goal was quite quiet in sort of the first sort of, you know, first half. But again, performed really well. Ran his heart out. Sonny as well, getting the goal, causing issues. It's what we want. And they all perform for each other. And I loved it. And Nuno, applaud it to you as well, because you got it right today. And and us going against the Premier League champions on opening day, who would, who would have given us a chance? I didn't. I thought we were going to lose today happily happily prove wrong and you know what like, like i said massive shout out to nuno for getting it right today um and massive shout out to all the players because they were absolutely every single one of them brilliant well deserved absolutely well deserved as well i think man city will probably push the boat out more for harry kane after that performance i think um but you know like i said even eric dyer and davidson sanchez as much as I critiqued them last season, they did their jobs today. Implored it to them for doing that as well. I thought they they were solid today. Um, and Hoybier, again, being Hoybier, doing what he does best is disrupting play, sticking hard challenges in, running his heart off as well, and just yeah, being being that guy, the the guy who has to do all the all the dirty work. So 
Um, yeah, massive, massive plaudits to the whole team for that performance. It's made me proud. And I haven't said that much for, for a long time with this team. Now, yeah, they could go next week and, and lose 5-0. But on this performance, proud. Definitely proud. So what do you think of that performance? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, quick announcement as well, because I'm, I'm very close to um, uh, a milestone on this channel. Uh, we're at 98 subscribers. First of all, I want to say thank you very much to all those 98 people who have decided to subscribe to my channel and watch this. Um, but also, I want to say um, I'm going to be doing a, 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 a Q&A um, once I reach 100 subscribers. Um, I'm going to do a special Q&A, um, so ask me anything, within reason obviously, um, but I, I just wanted to do something special for the channel just to mark that milestone and give you guys more of a chance to know me a little bit better as well, if you haven't already guessed what I'm like over the past year of doing this. Um, so yeah, we'll reach 100 subscribers, I might do a, a, a separate video just saying leave your questions down below in, this, in that video. Um, and then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll do a, a special Q and A video to mark that occasion. So I'm so close to, to 100. I think two off really, really would mean a lot to get to that. So, um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, uh, so, so everything Tottenham related. And like I said, every single Tottenham game I'm going to be doing match reactions, uh, hopefully more like this as well, because it's a quite a nice feeling. Um, so I will see you guys in the next uh, video. Like I said, let me know down below what you thought of that performance. What do you think of Man City's performance? And who was your star player for today? I, and, and also, sorry, I might I missed him out. I nearly missed him out. Shout out to Oliver Skip. Because I know he had a fir his first game since March 2020. Um, I think it was March 2020. Um, was it? Yeah. No, it might have been the March previous. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, first game in the Premier League for a long time. And a bit of a nervy start, a couple of, you know, up and down. But I thought he handled himself very well today. I love Skip. Very um, mature performance, very professional performance. And I, I think he's going to be a star for Spurs. I really do. So, um, yeah, just before I, I, I nearly forgot him as well. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you thought of that performance. Um, who was your man of the match? Um, like I said, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, stay up to date with everything I do. And I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, come on, you Spurs.